Back like we never left. What is good, everybody? Today's video is about the power of your silence when going no contact and why that silence actually makes your ex miss you after the breakup. Now, you already know how I get down. I don't like to waste time and I'm ready to get into it. So let's do that right now. You know what's important to remember after a breakup with your ex? That you can miss them, but not want them back in your life. After a relationship ends, you know what our immediate thought is? That it's likely not permanent. Like there's always a little bit of hope, right? That maybe, just maybe, things could work out. Your ex could change. Y'all could work past these issues. But, and this is a big ass but, our intuition tells us something different, doesn't it? Unfortunately, in time, we come to realize that everybody can't come with us on this journey. And for as heartbreaking as that can feel in the moment, it's something that's actually crucial to your healing. And acceptance, that ain't something we can come to grips with immediately. It can take months, if not years, to really get to the point where you realize there's finality behind that breakup or divorce. And once reality sets in, then comes the rude awakening of building, but this time alone, in solitude, with just one person. But you also wonder, how'd I even get here? Like we all get into relationships because we feel like it's going to be long lasting, right? It's the three M's. It'll be meaningful, magical, and mutual. But when it's over, it's a shock. And no matter how tough you think you are, how resilient, how independent you are, if you love, like truly loved and cared about your ex, it's devastating to your spirit. That's why after it feels like the hardest trek you've ever had to take in your life. And as you start climbing yourself out of the mud of heartbreak, evolution takes place. You start changing your habits, your boundaries, where you hang out, who you hang out with, how much you work out, how healthy you eat. You switch your careers, you get a new place, you start making changes that empower your spirit. And while you are, your ex, even though they're in that new rebound relationship, even though you block them, even though you think they could give two shits about you, when regret hits, when your silence sinks in, when the love, affection, attention, support, integrity, honesty, and character of someone who was by your side becomes a reality, it causes a conflict in their heart. Now that don't mean they're gonna reach out and tell you that. Nah, they got too much pride for that. But it does mean they understand they fucked up an opportunity. One that could have been magical for them. One that could have helped them be a part of this level up in both of your lives. But you know something? Them missing or regretting the loss of you is just a microcosm of that relationship. See, because sometimes people need to learn that your decision, your action, your behaviors, your abandoning of someone who's a real one in your life, that's a you problem. You had a good ass person. And when you had them, you didn't appreciate, didn't love right, and you fumbled it. So the reality for you is, regardless of if they ever tell you, ever reach out to apologize, watch your story, like a photo, ask a friend or a family member about you, randomly hit you up one day, it's irrelevant because we need motherfuckers to come into our life and not love us, not treat us right, not respect us as enough. So we can then turn around and use it as motivation to get back up and remember who the fuck you are. As always, thank you to every single one of you for tuning in and checking out this video today. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and that bell notification down bottom and come and join a team that will always push you towards personal greatness. I'll be back soon with another new video, but in the meantime, have an amazing day. Stay strong and stay inspired. And as always, until I see you guys next time, peace.